James Wise with Holden Wise here. Today I have a single family home in Cleveland Heights for $6,900. The estimated rent on this sucker is going to be $10.50. Is there a catch? Let's dive in. Alright, so here's the deal. 3305 Kildare Road, Cleveland Heights, Ohio, 44118. As I said, the purchase price on this sucker, $6,900. Now, before you guys all start running to your phones or smashing the enter button trying to email me aggressively so you can buy this property, don't think that that $6,900 is going to be your all-in cost to then achieve over $12,000 a year in rent. If that was the case, folks, I wouldn't be on here making this video, sending it off to you. I would have bought that property a long time ago, and you wouldn't even see me right now. Why are you looking at me? Do me a favor. Subscribe to this channel to see more deals and education. I am all about helping you learn while you earn. All right, back to business. So, now that you've subscribed and liked and possibly shared this with one investor who's ready to learn while they earn, let's talk about this. 6900 What's the catch, James? We know there's a catch. There's got to be a catch, or you wouldn't be filming this, sending it off to us. So what's the deal? Here's the deal, guys. Back taxes, okay? The current seller, she inherited this home from her mother. There is back taxes of $54,110.18, okay? So typically, the way a real estate sale works, you pay for everything, and then out of the sale, out of the proceeds, all the taxes are paid. So in a normal situation, you know, that would put this property at a price point a little bit over 60000 plus the commissions. Everything gets taken out of there. In a typical sale, what happens is a buyer pays a price and then a seller has to settle everything. And that's going to account for their commissions to realtors, their back taxes, their closing costs. So theoretically, once you add all that up, we get to roughly $67,000 and then that would be a clean sale. So normally I would just have, you know, this property listed at $67,000 and then the seller walks away. However, I decided to get a little creative to help investors out there who are looking to buy more real estate with less money out of their pocket. You see, you don't actually have to clear all those taxes. You are allowed legally to assume those taxes. So instead of you having to come up with that $67,000, we have set this up to $6,900 just to cover the commissions and the closing costs, and you will assume those back taxes. The reason this makes sense for you is you're going to use Uncle Sam to lend you money on this property. Essentially, you're using the government as your lender so you can get in and buy this property with $7,000. You see, those taxes can be made up over time, with a payment plan. So for those of you who don't have $67,000 in cash ready to go, you could get into this property out of pocket less than $7,000. That tax burden will assume to you, but you have time to pay it off. We are giving you a loan from the government. Once you take title to this property, of course there's going to be some work that you're going to need to do to get it up to snuff, to get it rentable, to get that $1050. Let's go over the property. Beds, four. Bass, one and a half. Built, 1920. Now the roof, the seller, she doesn't know how old the roof is. Again, she inherited the house, not too much, but we have some drone footage. We flew the drone above it. I see some patching. I see some discoloration there. So I don't know if it has to be replaced immediately today. However, it's not brand new. So, you know, when you're calculating your capital expenditure expenses, guys, expect to do a new roof probably in the next five years or so. A cost of a roof on a property like this is roughly $5,000. You got a furnace, which is over 20 years old. Cost on a furnace is typically going to be about $3,000. They usually last 20 to 40 years. That hot water tank, hot water tanks typically last about 15 years, guys. That thing, it don't look brand new. So that's another $1,000 you got to factor in. So the big ticket items we got in the next, at least I would say five to 10 years, we're probably going to be doing a roof, a hot water tank, and a furnace. So that's going to be $5,000, $1,000, That's a total of $9,000 for those keeping track at home. On top of that, cosmetically, 
We're going to need to go in, repaint, refinish those hardwoods. We're looking at, on a house this size, roughly $10,000 to do that. And it might be a good idea to spend an extra seven or so thousand dollars to upgrade that kitchen. So let's lay this all out. Up front, you need $6,900 plus about $17,000 to get this thing rent ready at $10.50 a month. On top of that, over the next five years, you're probably going to spend another $9,000 on capital improvements. Not bad. After you get those taxes cleared up, your annual taxes are going to be $3,526. However, seeing as you're purchasing the property for $6,900, I would say that tax appraised value is a little bit higher. Of course, they're going to see you assume the back taxes, so they're not going to give you a new tax appraised value of $6,900. But a lot of you out there are looking to challenge your property taxes to possibly get them lowered. I cannot guarantee you if they will lower those taxes, but what I can say, in my opinion, this property is a good candidate for a possible challenge of the property taxes. If you guys want to buy this property, click the link above or below, or send me an email directly at jameswise at holtonwise.com. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel or following us on Facebook if you want the opportunity to learn while you earn. That's what this channel is all about. That's what Holton Wise is all about. We are all about providing you guys education as well as some of the hottest deals for sale in the entire country. If you'd like to find out more about me, James Wise, my personal story as an investor, broker, entrepreneur, you can go ahead and follow me on my personal Instagram, at James Wise HWPG. With that page, I post on it every single day and I like to peel back the layers, let you guys see the behind the scenes. When you become a real estate investor, I want you to see what life is going to be like, what you're going to go through, because it's not always rainbows and somersaults. Sometimes this business gets downright tough and it gets savage. As always, I'm James Wise, Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.